Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's platter of splatter is courtesy of Finland's Galvanizer with their new full length prying eyes of imperception LP on MSUO. I know the orange vinyl variant, the color one, is sold out. But I think Jesus still might have copies of the black LP. And I'm sure this is going to sound fantastic on wax, folks, but it sounds just utterly awesome on tape and gross the way Galvanizer is meant to sound. But I noticed something between S Sanguine Vigil and the new album, and it's there's a lot more carcass and a lot less Finnish death metal influence here. I mean, it's badass though. Like, that's utterly finished right there. That was a bad example. But, I really love Galvanizer. They're one of my favorite modern Finnish death metal, death grind bands. Right next to Cadaveric Incubator. Like, to me, they're like, you know, such a perfect combination. And like, same with Axe Slaughter. Like, they're just like badass bands and... I just feel like they work together well. But when it comes to Galvanizer, I've been a fan for a minute. So I honestly am not 100% sure when it comes to the European release here if Extremely Rotten Productions is doing the cassette version. This is ERP's version of uh, Hard Tales of Death, which was the EP that came out before San Juan Vigil. And uh, I have the head split cassette version. I'm 99% positive, extremely rotten, did the uh, European cassette. But uh, I am all flarted out today, if you saw my pants, well, my shorts. But um, I, at the moment, I do not have the new LP on me. It's. Um, Currently, it, it was delayed, kind of bad, but uh, it's on its way on uh, orange wax. But um, the original, this is one of my actual like favorite LP variants when it comes to colored vinyl. This is one of my actual personal favorites, and it's kind of simple, but like it just matches like this record so fucking well. I don't know, I, I just really like find it very fitting with like the artwork and everything. It's just a great uh, MSUO record. And it's one of those albums, like to me, this, this never really gets old. Like, And the new album, I'm beginning to really fall in love with it. Like, cause for a long time, I was just like, uh, you know, I was looking forward to it, but I was like, how are they going to one-up San Juan Vigil? Like, you know, that's like almost like a perfect, like, record. It's ten tracks of just, like, straight-up savage fucking finished death grind. And, like, even the cover art, like, it's just utterly finished. I forget the artist's name off the top of my head, but, like, he's done, you know, pretty much, like, all the all the big like Finnish death metal bands he's done like the uh, artwork for and stuff like as you could like the style is very similar and everything like it's badass though like see like that guy's kind of I don't know. It, like, this reminds me more of uh, the Ad Adma Leech. I always fuck that band's name up. I apologize. But, um, they're, they're a one full length. But Sandra and Vigil, th th this is 
a killer fucking slab of death grind and same with the new record like prying eyes is fucking awesome the cassette sounds great it's fucking high speed i love the way the blast beats sound like when it comes to you know death grind there's a lot of bands out there but to me galvanizer are one of the best in the game and we get another 10 10 tracks total of just utterly amazing death grind thanks to nico Vili, and alexi three of the sickest fins you're ever gonna meet or talk to online just really cool fucking guys also defend the d beat brothers but like i don't know if they're playing the corona edition of um kill town death fest but if they are do not miss their set because they're one of those bands that's just They're diving into a little bit of heart work territory there, and it works the way when Arsis used to do it. It worked extremely well. Like, that's straight Dude, Jeff Walker wishes he wrote that riff right there, and that's a compliment. Like, that was an awesome little nod to Carcass's later material there. Something you wouldn't really expect out of this, but it delivers on all, like, come on. This could be an exhumed song. <laughs> But then they would kick in with like the gore vocals. I love this shit. I'm, I'm really, I'm a fucking sucker for it. And it never gets old. It's one of those genres like... They're brothers. Also from Finland. Cadaveric Incubator. With Nightmare on Necropolis. Like this was such a killer slab of death grind. I didn't really give the proper review to because I had like just broken my neck at the time but this is like I really really like the production here and stuff mastered by the mighty Dan Lowndes at Renaissance Studios artwork and layout by Stench Graphics like the cover I can't wait to just see what it looks like on 12 inches because there's a lot going on here and it's very biomechanical, very H.R. Giger-esque. Like, even the title of the album, like, Prying Sight of uh, Im Im imper uh, se Imperception, like, I think that's kind of cool, like, you know, basing, you know, the album title and art around a concept. I think that's, ba I don't know, I, I like when bands do that stuff. But yeah, this is a killer slab of death grind. If you're a fan of the last Galvanizer record, you're also going to probably love this. But also, obviously, the usual suspects, Carcass. But on this record, like, it also just has this, like, very, very, like, awesome low end to it. And the low end is just, I really, really, it, it, just listen. Napalm fucking death with Lee Doran on vocals.
Like when the highs kick in. That sounds more like Barney. I see you. It's awesome. And check out this badass blood red cassette. Like trans blood red. The galvanizer logo looks great. But yeah, this thing, it's fucking such a good record. And, you know, when it comes to a sophomore record, I really like Prying Sight of Imperception. From its badass biomechanical artwork, I really think it holds up next to um, Sandra and Vigil. And trust me, this is a gnarly fucking record. There's a better promo photo right there. And one thing I thought was really cool building up to the full length, which you needed to buy the um, full length to uh, see, but um, aside from a lyric sheet, which also happens to have, uh, I think, a rehearsal tape on it. Like, in the actual Xerox. Because it looks like this was, like, legit DIY. I don't know that they could have done this on Photoshop. But not entirely sure. But this is I really fucking love. I'll show you in one second, I apologize. But it has all their old logos. Starting at the original logo up until the modern logo, which I think that's fucking cool. Like, I wish more bands would like do stuff like that. Just show like, you know, their journey as a band and share it with like the rest of us. I think it's cool when bands open up like that. And Galvanizer is not scared to, you know, let you in on, like, the party and shit. And that's one of the things that really, you know, got my attention about Sandra and Vigil. It really felt like, you know, I was invited to the party. And that party just happened to be, like, you know, stench-inducing death grind. And they didn't really clean up their act when it came to their sound with, um, prying sight. I'm sorry if I called this prying eyes at all. I had a long day. But, um, this is just ten tracks of just straight up bulldozing death grind. But when I say bulldozing, I'm not talking about, like, Mexico's disgorge. This is not on that level of savagery. This is, you know, gore grind. There is there is a difference between death grind and gore grind. But Galvanizer nail that death grind sound with a little bit of carcass love from all errors of carcass, but also paying nod to, you know, the grandfathers of grind, Napalm Death. There's a lot of influences on here, and, you know, Galvanizer got to play with a lot of badass bands, and even on, like, the J-Card, like, showing shows with, like, um, Funeral Barum, fucking Blood, uh, Dequisitor, which is, um, kind of a, a local show, I would, I would assume, but... If you're going to Kill Town Death Fest, and if Galvanizer is playing, do not miss their set. Trust me, this band fucking rules. I really hope they can make it to the States. Fuck you, coronavirus. One of these days, we're gonna have a fucking... We're gonna have to have a talk with some light tubes. But when it comes to Galvanizer... You will not be let down by their sophomore release. Prying Sight of Imperception is a biomechanical nightmare of brutal fucking death grind that at times has a little bit of melodic sensibilities, which 
kind of caught me off guard at first, but I really like it, like, because it doesn't overextend its welcome, like, when there's a melodic guitar solo, it's in and it's out, and it fits, and it kind of even sounds like, you know, necroticism era carcass, but that one solo straight up kind of had some heartwork vibes to it, which there's no nothing wrong with that. That's one of the best melodic death metal records there is. I'm not the biggest melodic death metal fan, but I do, you know, I can I can enjoy it. Like there's certain bands I, I do I do like. But I prefer the more brutal kind of death metal, like Infernal Dominion, Rest in Power, Wes. Man, I I'm not gonna go into it today, but yeah, anyways, but Galvanizer, when it comes to Death Grind, you can't go fucking wrong. In America, Head Split Records, folks, Galvanizer, prying sight of imperception on Head Split Records. Pretty sure, now not 100%, and I apologize here, Extremely Rotten. Did the European cassette, or maybe Everlasting Spew, did both the CD and the cassette? Not 100% sure, but I'll put links in the video description so you can find it. Just enjoy this tune. Not the whole thing. Also forgot to mention fellow Finns, the rotten sound. There's a heavy rotten sound influence on this record. <laughs> I would even go so far as there is an early Lang Chi influence at times here. But there's some car there, there's your carcass and da, 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 da. badass stuff. Galvanizer with prying sight of imperception. Head split records, MSUO, and everlasting spew. As always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Thank you, John Randall, and thank you, Aaron. As always, thanks for watching. Fucking roll again. Hails. Listen to Galvanizer. <laughs>